So I'm Lisa Leach, my husband Rob Leach, and we're in Lingwood, Kansas, and this is the Lingcrest Farm. We milk Jerseys and Holsteins. We milk about 38 cattle altogether, and there's about 90 head here, uh, including young stock. Been here since uh, about 1965. We both grew up on dairy farms. I grew up right here. My wife grew up on a dairy farm in western Pennsylvania, Slippery Rock multi-generations of dairy farmers in our family. It's kind of kind of what we do, it's what we, what we know. We've done other things with our lives, but this is what we're the most passionate about. This is, the, this is where we want to raise our family. And yeah, this is what we enjoy. Yep. A day in the life of our farm, uh, Rob and I get up early. Uh, we usually rise about four o'clock or shortly thereafter. We get up and we drink coffee and we watch the morning news, the morning ag program. Um, then we come here to the barn. We're usually at the door about 5.30 and plan to start milking the cows about 6. I do most of the milking and Rob takes care of cleaning the packed barn here where the cows are housed and then mixing and feeding the feed. The barn has to be maintained. You know, we, we clean it every day. Um, we add bedding to where the cows are right now at least twice a week. We're pushing this feed up. You know, they, they like to push it away so we just keep them feed pushed up so they can reach it throughout the day. So there's other heifers and cattle all over the farm that have to be taken care of and little babies that have to be fed. We're still rebuilding the farm so we're constantly trying to work in other projects that aren't related to the day-to-day -day stuff that have, you know, they have to find time for somehow. The house I live in is built in 1884. The barn that we milked the cows in was built in the mid-1800s. We just assumed that it would always be here, you know. And then we had a mile-wide F4 tornado that came through and we were very lucky because we had adequate warning you know we had 24 minutes notice thank thankfully you know and we were just glad that we still had a house that we were standing in and we looked outside and realized that all the barns were gone so we were very nervous for the cows you know we were in contact with our family so we knew everybody was okay and my sister called me she lives just right across the pasture and we didn't know about her home either she lost everything. She lost, she came up to daylight. She lost everything she owns and with 20 minutes she was over here, you know, trying to find the cattle. And we just wanted to see how many cattle we lost and how bad they were hurt. Ultimately, we lost about 20 cows. And we assumed that the, the debris hit the fence and it just kept on going. So we assumed the whole community had it just as bad as we did. People literally walked over a mile just to get in here and help us. So, and then we started the rebuilding process we put in four miles of fencing that we just completed last summer. Last summer, we had to drain six ponds that were completely filled with steel. We had a hundred volunteers a day for about three weeks, so it's it's incredible the support that we had. We're very very lucky. We we have a lot of good friends and a lot of strangers that just showed up that wanted to help us. So we're very blessed. Since then. We've put up four barns so far. We'd like to put up another one, maybe two. We uh, went ahead and built with solar. Um, we've been using it a little over a year. And we're very pleased with how it's resulted in saving us money and, and just knowing that the cost of electricity is going to go up. I think a lot of people figured that we didn't know what we were going to do, but it really didn't take us yeah. very long at all to decide that we wanted to do it. So. I know the toughest part. The toughest part, as far as the farm goes, is whenever you lose a cow. These cows are very special to us. You know, we their long lives are important to us. And their health, you know, we, we take it all the, the nutrition, their health, their well-being, we take very seriously. Mm -hmm. And they're, you know, we hate to lose one. So they're like family. Yeah. And they're multi-generational too. You know, most of these cows, we've, we've bred generations of them seeing their mothers and, and grandmothers grow up and, and be milked here as well. That's why we try to keep cow comfort part of our routine, you know. It's the most important thing we do, I think. And it, what I think every dairy farmer is focused on is how comfortable are their cows, because happy cows give back to you. Some of the things that we do is um, they are on a bedding pack where they can just kind of come and go as they please and it's a nice fluffy shavings bed. Um, we have the 
feed mix uh, specifically for the forages that we have on hand. So the hay, the silage, um, those are all tested. And then the grain that we add to it, or the grain and mineral pack that we add to it is specific for uh, them. So our turnaround time from the cow, from the farm here, um, our bulk tank actually holds four milkings, so about 48 hours worth of milk. The tanker truck comes in every other day and picks the milk up and takes it to the processing plant. And from the processing plant, it hits the shelf within 24 to 48 hours. Uh, right now we are producing about 250 gallons a day. So when the truck leaves here, he's got 500 gallons of our milk. There's a lot of misunderstanding that cows are not well taken care of or that we don't care about our cows. And that's just the opposite, you know. Cows, as far as I know, in, in almost every situation are treated really well. It's just, it's just part of the business. You have yeah. to take good care of cattle or they're not going to take good care of you. So. And milk is one of the cheapest sources of, of high quality nutrition you can find. And along with it, you've got essential nutrients and vitamins, minerals, um, let alone the fact that how many of us are short on calcium. So the next time you purchase a dairy product, either at the store or a restaurant, we hope you think of us um, and how passionate we are about our cows and our family. There's a lot of hard work that goes into producing what we do and, and we hope you enjoy every drop.